How much is enough money to earn through your business? When can you say, that's it, I've hit my goal? Well, my answer may surprise you. Hit subscribe for weekly videos to grow your consulting business and click the bell for notification of future videos. The viewer writes, when is enough enough? Meaning being comfortable with how much you make since it's more than you ever thought possible. Wow, yay, let's celebrate that. Hooray for that accomplishment. In just one week, I had clients saying to me, I have more money in my bank account than I've ever had before. And a client is sending me a six-figure check this week on top of all of that. Another client said, this is the most money I've ever made in my life. Another one said, well, I've gotten to 52,000 a month, so I think I'm gonna take a little rest for a while. This is incredible, right? These results. And you might feel like, well, it's not all about the money, but sometimes it is about the money. And I think it's really important for us as women to get comfortable with it being about the money. Like, let's talk about this. It's important to earn a ton of money because it gives you freedom, options, choices, opportunities, access. Money gives you tons of things. And so knowing what your numbers are, like what's enough for you? It's a personal question and it's a really important question. Now, this viewer has asked my opinion. And what I want to say is, viewer, what is enough is a personal decision for you. And you know, if you go and ask your peer group, everybody's going to have an opinion about this. If you ask your financial planner, they'll have some ideas for you. If you ask your partner or spouse, they're going to weigh in. Your parents might have a totally different idea about it. And if we ask like everyone out there, like general capitalism, capitalism has an idea that there's no such thing as enough. More is more is more is more. And capitalism will drive you until you're dead if you allow that to happen. So we have to be really super aware of within this structure. Let's keep in mind, there can be enough. And I think there is enough. Several seasons ago, I had Jen Sapel on. She's a financial advisor for super successful women. She was talking about the kind of investments that they do, which is ESG or investing in you know, companies that are trying to do something good for the world. And they're kind of the opposite of those companies that we would think of as doing not that great of things for the world. So polluting or you know, making money off of people or selling sugar sodas, for example. Traditionally, those companies, those ESG companies, are not outperforming the other kinds of investments. So how do you handle that? And she said that when her clients come to her, they have a goal. And if they can meet that goal through investing in these good companies, then who cares that they could be making tons more money in the other companies? They've met their goal. So that was really enlightening and eye-opening for me. When we invest along with our values, we can meet our goals. Maybe we don't make the most money in all the world, but we can respect the choices that we've made for ourselves. I want you to take those ideas, like investing your values, and put that behind your idea of enough. We determine what is enough by looking at our values. So I'd ask you, what are yours? When we're looking at how much money we earn in our business, you can look at, like, it's a determination of my achievement, my accomplishment. How much money you earn says how much you've accomplished or achieved. It can be about your contribution or the impact that you're making on your clients, maybe on the world or on society. It can be about your significance or the legacy that you want to leave, or it can be about security and safety. And this is why I think talking about money and being serious, like making a lot of money and having that be important to you, that's okay because we need to normalize women talking about that and doing that. Really making good money, making enough money. And it can also be validation or recognition. Like this isn't traditionally something that everybody has done. It may be the kind of thing that in your family, you're earning more than anyone ever has. I had a client say that she's out earned more than anyone else in her family and standing out that way as the validation for yourself and maybe others finding that out too, like really being recognized, especially if somebody counted you out, you know, your teachers or you had like a scolding uncle or somebody who never really believed in you, then it can be really important to you to hey, show them that you can do it. My values I've talked about on the show before. My number one value in my business is freedom. I don't want to be told what to do, when to do. I want to have options and choices available to me. And then my next value is joy. 
I was miserable in many jobs in my life. And when I made my own business, I was like, there won't be a day that I will be unhappy in my business. Joy, joy, joy all the time. I don't call it profitable and joyful for no reason. And then we get to, I really want to earn great money in my business. So that takes us kind of back to the idea of enough. What I find in my business is that sometimes there's the opportunity to constrict my freedom, meaning if I take on another client, then I'll have less time available to myself. But there could be good money in doing that. This, I can tell you, is a dilemma so many of my clients have. I'm at capacity for how much I want to work, but there's this really great client and I want to work with them. So then we have this kind of dilemma of, do I give away this time in exchange for this money? I always think of it as like a box on your calendar. If you're meeting with a client and say they meet with you once a week, then how much is that box, that one hour time slot on your calendar? How much is that worth? Well, when we're young and just starting out, like, hey, we would do that for 100 bucks or something, right? I'm exaggerating, but you know, not much money at all. Then there comes a point where you're like, no, that needs to be $1,000 if I'm going to give away that time. And then you're like, the more and more and more we get to it, if I'm going to give away that hour, it, we need to really seriously think about this. So some of my clients will say 4,000, some will say 6,000. Again, we're not charging by the hour, but if we kind of like look at what the revenue that we're bringing in is and the time that we're having to spend to work with that client, then we can usually translate this into like that client's going to take up about 20 hours a month or four hours a month in exchange for this amount of revenue that's going to be coming in. And then you make hard decisions. So to me, when I'm thinking about is enough enough and I'm thinking about what my values are, the big trade off is, is the money that's coming in worth the effort and the time that you're sacrificing? Because you can be revenue generating with that time or you can be resting. And sometimes resting is the more profitable choice to make. So spend some time thinking about what your values are. And before you do this with a spouse or with your family, I really want you to check in with yourself and find out what your authentic response to this question is. Then take this to trusted advisors or your family and begin to build what you think are the values that drive your business. And that can tell you I am still in my peak earning years. I actually want to do these three things before I say that this is enough. Or you can decide, really, this is as much revenue coming in as I need. And I'm going to start to transition myself out of the business. So a question for you to consider might be, how do you balance those professional financial goals with your personal and family values? So we've looked at defining enough and we've looked at defining enough according to your values. And the last thing that I really want you to look at is giving yourself permission. If you've decided that this is enough, then what is the action that you want to take? Do you want to stop working? Do you want to begin to slow down and transition? Or do you want to continue doing what you're doing? But without that sense of pushing and growth. There are plenty of my clients who have said, this amount, this number, this is great for me. I don't need to grow. I don't need to push. I don't need to do anything. This amount is coming in every single month, and I'm super happy with it. They're allowing the business to generate this much, and they're doing that work, and they feel great about what's happening there. You can just work with that amount that is coming in right now. You don't always have to push it. Enough is enough, and you are the decider of how much that is. I want to thank this viewer for this question. It's amazing to be able to get a question like this and to hear about other women business owners who are achieving their financial goals through their businesses. If you are not yet making more than you ever thought possible, then I encourage you to reach out. You can find me through the social and we can have a conversation about what it would take to achieve your financial goals through your business. And with that, I'm wishing you a profitable and joyful consulting business. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. And here are a couple of related episodes that will help you to build an even more profitable, joyful consulting business.